Hi again, this is Dr. Henderson. This is a video talking about what's called a robotic simple prostatectomy. We're doing these videos so that patients can hear this from my mouth as well. It kind of gives you a good review before the procedure and hopefully answers questions that you may have had or sparks your memory remembering things that have already been talked about in the office if it wasn't with me being with my nurse practitioner or physician assistant. So any robotic surgery we do usually involves a few holes in your belly. It's all laparoscopic. We got this fancy robot machine and this is what I did my fellowship in is robotic surgery. When you have a really big prostate, meaning 80 grams or more, and that's just per the American Neurologic Association guidelines, they recommend doing one of two procedures. One is a simple prostatectomy. The other one is a holmium laser enucleation of the prostate. We don't have a lot of people that do that enucleation of the prostate and it's a very technical procedure. It can be good, but most people were doing a open prostatectomy or open open simple prostatectomy. We've now all resorted to robotics because it's less bleeding, less complications, and quicker recovery for the patients. The procedure that I do is five little incisions on your belly. We go in, we open up your bladder, and literally just kind of take out what I like to call the guts of the prostate. The part of the prostate that's enlarging and getting big and obstructing your urination looks like big kind of white marshmallow tissue. And the other outside tissue on the prostate is more striated or strands of tissue so that's how we can tell what to take out what not to take out the reason we do it this way is i don't want to even get near the outside of your prostate which is where your nerves are for continence your near continence and for erections we don't want to mess with that stuff so this is the best way we've found taking care of these really big prostates the other thing that's nice about this is if you have other things associated with bph like a bladder stone we can actually just take it out right there because we're opening up the bladder to get in and take out that prostate tissue the procedure takes about two hours or less it's very successful. Most of my patients actually go home same day. The only reason we want you to stay overnight is if your urine was really bloody, which is kind of to be expected after this procedure. But we continue to improve our technique, surgical technique, and most of my patients are like a light pink laminate afterwards. And if they are, we tell them, go home, sleep in your own bed. You'll do much better that way. Other than that, things to expect afterwards from the surgery. The first thing that you'll hate me for is you gotta have a catheter in for a week just to kind of let things things chill out and for your body to heal. That gets taken out in my office in one week or you can learn how to do that at home. And then we have you come back and see us in about one month for your post-operative checkup appointment. Other things to just be expecting is once that catheter comes out, you'll hate me a little less, but you'll still probably hate me because you're gonna have burning. You have an open wound with naturally acidic urine to protect us from infections going across it. Things that help with that are drinking lots of water to dilute out your urine, taking azo or proteum over the counter that is a crazy medicine that turns your urine orange but it takes the edge off because it acts like a numbing agent in the urinary tract once you kind of heal up from that and form a nice big scab on the inside where we took out the tissue from the prostate from there you'll hate me a little less but you still might not like me right away because we have to get your bladder used to the environment he was used to pushing urine through a teeny tiny hole that big and when we do this simple prostatectomy it's so effective you got a big huge hole now like this and so there literally is no resistance whatsoever for your bladder to empty the urine out. So it may take some medication, it may take some behavioral therapy, it may even take Botox injections where we paralyze a portion of your bladder muscles so it calms down so it's not so overactive or hyperactive after the procedure. Just doing a combination of those things, we can get you back to feeling like you're peeing like you're 14 again and not getting up so much during the night or having leakage or having all these different symptoms that we as men get as we get older and our prostates become obstructing. So this is just a brief summary and, and things to expect as far as this procedure goes. I look forward to helping you out with this problem and taking care of you. We'll answer more questions and talk about the procedure more, anything that you have before we go into the operating room at the time of the procedure when I meet you then. So we'll see you then. Thanks.